Hi there, today I want to show you the New Zealand Geology web map. This is published by GNS Science. Um, so I've got the URL up here, data.gns.cri.nz slash geology slash. Um, you can also find a link in the summary. So This is a pretty good web map here. And there's two layers you can choose to use. There's the one to one million and one to 250,000 geology. So if you switch between those um, by clicking on the radio buttons there, uh, you can zoom by scrolling with the mouse wheel or by dragging this um, zoom control in. Might go a little bit slow with this connection I have. Uh, pan by simply dragging and moving the view. Or you can use these pan controls here. On the left hand side we have this layer menu and items in here are listed by drawing order. So you can see that only faults, geological boundaries and geological units are displayed by default. So you can add other ones on by um, checking the box there. And you notice that doesn't actually bring it up on the screen because all these greyed out items uh, won't be displayed until I zoom in. So if I zoom in to about here we've got um, faults being displayed. You see them just coming on there. We still haven't got boundaries. Uh, another way you can zoom is by entering in a scale here. But that'll only, um, when this zooms, it'll, it has to be in certain steps. So it'll just go, it'll zoom out to the most appropriate step. So I just wanted to point out here that when you're in beyond 250,000, all the, um, the units are available to be plotted. So you can see that all units are opaque by default. If you want to get to the layer properties, you just click on whichever layer you want to view, go to the controls tab, and here you can also show the legend. So the GL units legend isn't available yet. Um, you can show metadata. And here you can set the layer opacity. So I'm just going to set that to 70%. And I'll hide that away. You can also reorder these. Um, so if you wanted to see metamorphic boundaries above geological units, you could do that. And then to um, bring it back to the default view, you can just simply reload the page, refresh the browser. So if we want to view topo and geology, you can actually set different um, background layers, and the one I'd recommend using with the gel unit set to 70% um, is topo 250. So if we zoom in a bit here, and the topo 250 is going to take a while to also to view there. But there you can see kind of some of the features, uh, the topo features in relation to the geology. So that's quite a useful way to view it. You can query things on the map by clicking, simply clicking anywhere.
So this tells you the what formation it is, what time type of rock it is. Um, it also works for things like if I put on these structural measurements and provided I've clicked in the right place, it's going to tell me the azimuth and um, inclination of that um, measurement and what type of measurement it is. Uh, there's one last thing I want to show you. Once you've kind of got this set up the way you like it, you can enter this full screen mode. And that just hides that, hides that um, brings it up into full screen and hides that layer menu. But from here, you can actually also increase the uh, size of the browser window. So you could make it full screen of the, the entire view of the map. It's a wee bit slow to bring up, but this is generally pretty useful if you just want to find out the geology of a specific area. Thanks very much.